two quadrilateral congruent, their area is also congruent. That's pretty much it, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, um, if, if two, we'll, but we're going to expand it more general. So instead of talking about quadrilaterals, we'll say if two polygons are congruent, they have the same area. I mean, I think that, I think that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Yeah, nice job, man. Um, the area addition postulate says uh, the area of a region is the sum of the areas of its non overlap. That is just kind of a, a fancy way of saying that um, if you've got an odd shape, like so, if you want to get the area of that odd shape, you can get like maybe you want to get the area of this, uh, make that a rectangle there, maybe do the area of a that looks kind of like a trapezoid. You could do the area of a trapezoid. Or maybe you could make it like uh, two rectangles and a triangle. And you would just add up all those areas, wouldn't you? Yep. Does that kind of make sense? Well, um, next up, area of a rectangle. Many times width. The area is the product. And I'm going to go ahead and call it base times height because that kind of relates to triangles a little better. So the area is the product of its base and height. Let's, let's draw a little picture. Rectangle, right? But yeah, base, height, bam, that's the area. And again, you could also do uh, length times width. Right. What about area of a parallelogram? Have you guys learned that ever in your lives? This might be new. Area of a parallelogram. Isn't that kind of weird? Because it's it's a more basic shape, isn't it, than a rectangle? In truth, um, yeah, it turns out the same thing. It's also base times height. But um, the picture's going to look a little different, isn't it? So parallelogram, like so. And uh, so you could have, you know, this is a, a base, but then the height isn't this side length, is it? Mm -hmm. so that's kind of the tricky thing, is you got to be careful here. you got to make sure you got a perpendicular to the base uh, to get a height in there. But yeah, it's still base times height, which is kind of easy. Um, yeah, let's write that down. The area is the product of a base and its corresponding height. So the reason they say that is because if you turn this on its side, think of this as a base, isn't that height going to be greatly different? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So you can find the area using any side as a base, it's just you got to be aware that that, that is going to uh, possibly significantly change the height of it. And then finally, the area of a triangle. The area is what, what is it? You guys know? One half of the base rectangle. Oh, yeah. One half the product of a base and its corresponding height. We're going to 
going to draw a few pictures here because triangles can be a little bit sneaky sometimes. Uh, a triangle could, could look like this. We could also have a right triangle. But we could also have an obtuse triangle that's like kind of on one, one side, kind of weird. Maybe like this. And, and you just got to be prepared to realize, oh, uh, I, I, still, I still need the base and the height. And so, you know, this one, here's your base, but where's your height going to be? Yes, yeah, somewhere in the middle, right? Perpendicular to the base, to the highest point. So there's the height. And um, on right triangles, it's the easiest, isn't it? Because the height is actually a side length, isn't it? It's kind of nice. And then these kind of look funny. Uh, the way we've got it oriented, I mean, you totally could turn this around, right? And make this your base and this the height. But if you're given it like this, a lot of times they'll have the base value right there. And then they'll draw little dashed lines with the right angle. And then they'll have the height basically dropped down, right? From that, that upper coordinate. And yeah, it's uh, area equal to one half base times height. So did you guys know that, um, well, basically, I think you can visualize this pretty quickly. Um, if you were to kind of like take a side here and like reflect it over, you guys see how you could totally have like a parallelogram on this one? Yeah. And isn't a parallelogram area base time side? Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that it's half. And, and again, on this one, if you flip it over, aren't you gonna have a, a, a rectangle? So I think it makes sense that it's one half the base times height. Okay, let's uh, put this into action if you don't mind. Do you guys have questions so far? Whole lot of review, isn't it? Whole lot of review, I think, from, from the past. Well, uh, find the area of parallelogram RSTU. R S T U. That's the one we're finding the area for, right? That bad boy right there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what do we need to know to find the area of a parallelogram? Base and height. We need a base and we need a height. Do we have either of those? Yes. What's our base? 35. Agreed. What's our height? 20. Is it? Yeah. What did you say? I'm sorry. 20. 20. 20. It's 20, isn't it? Oh, very good. 20 is the height. And then, um, you know what, let's, let's add units to this real quick. Let's make it 35 centimeters and 20 centimeters. Because if you take centimeters and multiply it with centimeters, your area is going to be 700 centimeters squared. squared. Awesome. We're off to a good start. Well, uh, example two says the base of the triangle is one half of the height. The area of the triangle is 64 square centimeters. Find the base and height of the triangle. Hmm. Wow, things got, things uh, escalated quickly, didn't they? Well, uh, we should probably draw a picture, don't you suppose? picture no triangle didn't give us much information as far as what type of triangles so we'll just draw a random triangle they tell us that the area is 64 centimeters squared they, they mentioned the base and the height don't they it says the base of the triangle is one half the height well, do I know what the height is? No. no. I'm going to put H there. But if the height is H, what's my base? One half H. My base is one half H. And you totally could have used like X's if you would rather, right? So I feel like we've got enough here to set up this relationship and, and, and quite possibly solve for H. 
area is equal to one half base times height. But in this case, we know our area. We know that our base is one half the height, and our height is h. Does this seem like something we could solve? I think so. Well, let's, I mean, you, you could start like undoing things, but let's simplify this if you don't mind. Let's do 64 centimeters squared is equal to, what's a half times a half? No, it's a way. fourth. No, it's a fourth, yeah. It's a fourth. And then what's h times h? H squared. Yeah. Now let's solve for h. How do I undo that one fourth? Mm -hmm. Multiply by 4 on both sides, what are you going to get? 256. And it's actually still centimeters squared. Short circuit. And what do we do to undo squaring? Square root. Square root. Just a heads up in algebra 2, when you do this, you're going to have plus or minus. The answer could be positive or negative. But in geometry, don't we deal with actual measurements? So it's always going to be the positive that we're dealing with in geometry. And uh, does, that, does that have to be a perfect square? Yeah, yeah. You guys know to check first. Yeah, punch that in your calculator real quick. Square root 256. Does it come out nice? Yeah. What is it? 16. Oh, nice. Okay, now check this out. What happens when we square root centimeters squared? Centimeters. You're left with centimeters, which is kind of fun. Okay, let's flip this over. There's more fun to be had. Um, I tell you what, read through example three and I'll take a roll real quick and I'll, I'll catch up to you. Well, do you guys have a game plan? Yes. You do? Mm -hmm. What's your game plan? I just want to ask Well, you know, Oh, what's that, AGM? Just trying to add an the bottom, what right is, which is 272 squared. Found the area of the triangle, you said? Rectangle. Oh, the rectangle? Found the area of the rectangle? Yes. Uh, and then you take the square root of 8, and that's the base of the entire triangle, okay. cut in half, um, and then you start by doing that to find the height. Oh, okay, so we are missing a height there. I'm with you. So, once we get the area, are we done? No, no, no. What will we do, do after we get the area of everything? Exactly, divide by 275, because they're curious how many gallons of paint we should buy. And there's 275 square feet coverage in a gallon of paint. Okay, so I like what AJ was saying. We're going to get the area of the deck pretty easily, aren't we? But the area of this triangle is a little bit challenging because we do not know the heights, do we? But what we can do here is notice that um, it's... It's isosceles, isn't it? And when that happens, the base here um, is going to get cut in half. It's going to be 15. 
And because it's isosceles, we can cut that in half, and then we can do Pythagorean theorem to get the hypotenuse. Notice the 38 is the hypotenuse, isn't it? So I'm going to do 38 squared equals h squared plus 15 squared. And I'm probably going to grab a calculator. So my calculator, I'm going to do 38 squared minus 15 squared. And I got 1219, is that right? Yep. But then I still got a square root of it, don't I? I'm just going to go ahead and keep rocking this right here. Thank you. So I got, uh, do I, I don't know, do I want to do it? Yeah. Are we rounding? Are well, we I don't know. Because I was going to try to simplify it later. So we, I think it makes sense to go ahead and round it. Um, but, but here's the thing. Um, oh. Don't we have more calculations to do? Yeah. I always hate it when I round and then have to do more calculations. So I tell you what, um, I'm going to leave this as square root, what was it? 1219. I'm going to leave it like that for a little bit um, just because I want to have an exact answer here. Okay, since we're already working on this triangle, let's go ahead and finish that up. The area of the triangle is going to be one half the base. What was the base of the triangle? 30. 30 times the height we just found, which was square root 1219. Now that might reduce, I'm, I'm not really sure, but that, that's not what I'm worried about. I just don't want to round it yet. So, so far I've got the area of the triangle to be 15 square root 1219. Now I'm going to save that. So that was the triangle, wasn't it? What's the area of the deck? 270. Area of the deck is 270. And yeah, you're right, feet squared. So the total area. The total area is going to be equal to 270 plus 15 square root 1219. But how are we going to find out how much paint? So now what I'm going to do to keep to make it where I only round once is now I'm going to divide this by 275 to find out how much paint I need. So in my calculator, I'll do 270 plus 15 square root 1219, and then divide by 275, and I get this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if we had rounded initially, we would have gotten something pretty similar. Um, and honestly, it probably doesn't change the number of gallons of paint we get. If our answer is 2.886, blah, 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 how many gallons should we buy? Three. We gotta buy three gallons, don't we? With rounding, I got like 2.1. Or 1.9. Say what now? With rounding at the beginning, I got like 1.9. Um, Whoa, are you serious? Yeah, I guess so. What? Uh, yeah, let me let me double check that. So, um, oops. I run it six times with the house. Wait, you can't buy a nine Yeah, so I ran it too. So you you rounded the t square root of twelve nineteen to like. 34.9? You never? Uh, yeah, it's called this. Yeah. You never? You write it all out, you get like. Bro, I'm up in the calculation three times, but I'm still getting it's 36. 
So when I rounded to the nearest tenth, I got the total area to be um, 520. Oh, wait. No, I, I don't think I. I got the 270. I got five. Oh, no. Whenever you yeah, don't, don't you don't know what you get to so it's still round up there, right? No one understood what you just said. Yeah, so, ladies and gentlemen, I got 793.7 for that. Rounded, and then divide by 275. And, yeah, it's it's pretty, it's, it should be about the same thing. So if you're getting something vastly different, when you round this right here, something's up, something's up. Um, it could be that uh, maybe you forgot to add the 270 or something like that. What do you guys think? Add the two seven. Okay. I think it's just not looking. I was just going to be right. No, it's not No, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but try that out on, on your own. What's your cousin? Huh? What's your cousin? Who? What's that? Oh, wait, who's your cousin? Are you guys good on this? Yes. Yeah. And I, I'm probably over picky about saying keep keep this area, you know, non non rounded, keep it exact until the very end. I'm probably too picky about that. But I know sometimes it can make a significant difference, especially if you end up multiplying by a large number, then that little rounding error will become a bigger issue. Um, example four, let's skip it for right now. We'll come back to it. Example five says find the area of a triangle with side lengths of 13 inches, 13 inches, and 10 inches. Well, what kind of triangle is that? Isosceles. And isosceles triangles are kind of nice because if we've got a 13, a 13, and a 10, What's nice about it is when we drop that height in, in the middle, uh, we're gonna a be able to split this base in half. And what do we end up having to do to get the height? Oh, I have to do Pythagorean theorem again. So we'll do uh, 13 squared is equal to h squared plus five squared. And then what's the square root of 144? 12. 12. So it turned out nice. And now that we found that, 
What's the formula for the area? One half over five. Oh, I forgot it's actually so One good. half. And remember the base is 10, isn't it? Mm -hmm. One half 10 inches times our height, which was 12 inches. And what's our area? 60 square inches. 60 inches squared. Well, um, example six. Oh yeah, so we've got basically two shapes in here, don't we? It says find the total area of the figure shown. So what's your game plan? Split it up. Find the area of both of them, then add them together. That sound like sound like a plan. All right. So area of this rectangle. It's going to be base times height. And what did you say it was 660? Yep. Like 660 feet squared. The area of the triangle is going to be equal to one half what? 19, 19 times. 33. And what do you get for that? 313 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 
Yeah, so this is not this is not a bad idea. I'm kind of liking what you what you said here, even though you didn't have a lot of confidence with it, AJ. But I think you can split this up into two triangles and figure it out that way. I believe we're safe in saying that because didn't we? If we make this a right angle down, oh golly, I hope I hope that it would hit right there, because. Um, it would be parallel. I think these would be parallel. I don't think so. I don't know. Hey, man, I don't know. It almost looks like it comes in a little bit, doesn't it? Not for the inner triangle, but I mean like the whole entire thing. I Say what? I meant for the whole entire thing. The whole yeah, entire I thing? That's what I was going to solve for. Oh, oh, okay. So what, what you're saying is you could find the area basically of this whole thing? Uh, is that what you're saying? Yeah, in the triangle. Yeah, we could, we could find a rectangle. We could find rectangle A, B, E, F and triangle B, E, B. See, he gets it. A, B, E, F. Do you want to find the area of this? And then triangle next to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so no, we don't have to like it. It's you can do the big triangle next to it. The triangle next to it. The yeah, big the, triangle. Yeah, the base is the big oh, triangle. Is like the oh, the big triangle? The big, yes. Two. So it's okay. a rectangle and triangle. But then, what, wouldn't we have to then also find the areas of these smaller bits and subtract them? I don't know. Well, do you guys want to hear how I solved it the, the yes. first time? Yes. The first time I solved it, I found the area of this parallelogram. Because the area of a parallelogram is equal to base times height, right? And what's the height? Or I'm sorry, what's the base first? Oh, well, I, oh yeah, we could do it that way too. We could do 18. And then the, if I do a base of 18, what's the height? It appears to be 25, doesn't it? And so that would get us this entire area here, which would get to be what's 18 times 25? 450. Okay, but that's the whole parallelogram here. What do I need to subtract from it? And that triangle at the bottom. That triangle. Do I have everything I need to know for that triangle? Yes. Do I? No. I don't quite do I? I've got 15, I've got 18, but do I have, I would think of this as like a base and this is a height. You guys with me on that? Um, if we've got 18 here, 15 here, I think I'm going to need to know this measure, and I can do one half base times height. So uh, let's call that x. We're going to have 18 squared is equal to 15 squared plus x squared. 18 squared minus. 15 squared is equal to 99. Square root, square root. 99 does simplify, doesn't it? It simplifies because there's a 9 times 11, so it simplifies to 3 square root 11. And what I found out was if I do the problem a different way, this ends up being 10 and not 3 squared root 11. So there's something up with these numbers here. But now if we find the area of that triangle, it's going to be 1 half, 3 square root 11. And then if 3 square root 11 is our base, what's our height? 15. And we're going to get... 45 square root 11 over 2. And 
so the area is going to be the parallelogram. Parallelogram minus the triangle. So it's going to be 450 minus 45 square root 11 over 2. And now let's get a decimal answer. What's up, Zach? Is finding that small triangle really necessary, though? Um, explain. Can you use the 25 on the other side to make that congruent to the line down the middle? So wouldn't you find the hypotenuse of that triangle on the right side? Uh, the, so the hypotenuse of 25, the base is 15, find the angle of the shaded side on the right. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that, that is totally another way to do it. Yep. And then just find the other triangle on the left. And then add them, to, add them together. Yep, yep, that is, that is definitely another way to get there. And, and let's see if we, if we match up. Because I think uh, they're going to be a little bit different. Did you get a nice answer, Zach, when you worked those out? Oh, you got a messy answer as well? Yeah. Okay. So, um, but yeah, Zach, uh, same, same deal. And actually the same, same amount of calculations as well. So 450 minus 45 times 11 square root divided by 2 equals I got 375. What do you think? Two decimal places? I did three. Say what? I did three. Ooh, 376. Oh, that was wrong. Is that what you did? Yeah, that's what I did. And what's the units? Oh, there's not any, is there? All right, so ladies and gentlemen, and Zach, did you get the exact same? No, that's a little bit different. Say what? Well, anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that, that problem is a little extra, isn't it? Um, there is practice for this. It's page uh, 723, and it's numbers 1 through 27 odd. And we will... Explore more areas on Monday. Are you going to make your ears and like buddies? Sorry, sorry, what's that? Are you going to make your ears and buddies? No. Done. I think it's just we don't know each other very well. It seems like we'd be buddies. Really? Yeah.